Hello and welcome to Wrestling in Mom's Basement. This is going to be the weekly TV reviews for Raw, SmackDown, NXT, AEW Dynamite, AEW Collision, and Impact Wrestling for the week of September 11th. I, of course, Patrick Young. This gentleman tomorrow is my co-host, Joe Menuda. Uh, Monday Night we're all kicked off with a uh, pretty straightforward segment with Jay. This time Kevin up trying some saves out there. And then Judge Day come out leading to a tag team match. I'm not... Not pretty straightforward stuff to open match or something yeah. uh, I mean I do like the touch of yeah. Kevin Owens not fully trusting Jay, so uh that's that's my only comment on it. But and it, yeah, Judge right. Debbie Finn and Priest. The, the fact yeah. uh that led to uh Finn and Damian Priest Judge Day defeat in James of Kevin Owens and open match. Uh yeah, so it was a fine tag team match and I do like the continued uh building up of well Jay doesn't have many friends because for three years he was Roman's bitch yeah uh, the, uh, the action worked as you might have expected this is more like the storytelling elements Elvis doesn't trust Jay and then Jay did something nice and got burned in the end uh, this feels like another step in a little story and the good thing so far is Jay feels like a big star who is in, in over his head over his head by Noah Solo mm-hmm. uh up next, the Miz defeat Akira Tozawa and not a squash match. Um, yeah, a bit of an extended squash, but Miz gets his win back from from the week or two before. Um, uh, yeah, a fun a fun match here, but again, Miz, Miz did was going to get the win because he and LA Knight would be on SmackDown. Yeah, this is what I need to be as Miz got to wreck Tozawa for the most part, but Miz win back also was like a bit of a threat. To LA Knight for this week for SmackDown, that's part of Sears Miz. It may start good moment at the version as that version makes me effective. And all we had to just do was make it work on Friday, which I'll get to in a little bit. Uh, up next, uh, per, pretty much an all straightforward segment for the Aircon Championship celebration. Mine's Gable swearing to God <laughs> that he has to beat Gunther. Uh, <laughs> Moments are guaranteed by baby face. He swear to God. Uh, <laughs> If you lose this, you might as well just turn heel again, buddy. Uh, no, 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 back from this one. <laughs> watch, he, watch, he'll get uh, Miro's Redeemer gimmick. Yeah, uh... God has forsaken me, and now I will forsake God. Yeah, uh... Yeah, he, he swore to God, and then uh, Chopper came out to say that you have the Oz to summon a six-way tag for me. Uh, up next, uh, Ron Gabash drew back a time to defeat Xavier Woods. Uh, yeah, yeah, really good match here. Um... Uh, it's always nice to be reminded that Xavier Woods can go on his own and doesn't actually need and prove that all three guys in the new day can go instead of just two guys and the, and the trumpet player. Yeah, Woods can go. He, he brought a with Drew, but yeah, Drew is just going to end up kicking his face off of his face. Yeah, this was a must as your McIntyre, and that's a good thing. McIntyre's the big kind of steal for a little time now. I shifted towards a heel turn, could be exactly what he needs. Once again, Melser and, and the gang, I'm not sure if you're playing this much focus on somebody these past few weeks since when since he's been back since playing the bank. If you're not if he's not playing on resigning or hasn't resigned yet. Yeah. Uh, there seems to be a lot of focus going to a new Drew push if that's hap- if that is, if that's not happened. Uh, I mean I'm not saying you can't leave, but I uh, seems like an odd time. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with all the talk about Oh yeah, this per <laughs> this person's contract is up in twenty twenty four. Particularly on the WWE side is literally they have they have a merger happening, and I, I don't think necessarily the eventual TKO that happened this week doesn't necessarily want contracts on the book that weren't there and that weren't there unless they need to be. For the third time this year, WWE was confirmed to be sold, and that is not the biggest news story of the week. <laughs> I say third time because I'm forgetting they were sold in a sale. He's back in Jack Jab- 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 Yeah. <laughs> so- Actually, no, my fault. That was the biggest story that week. Because of how rogue everybody was. My bad. And somehow people are still trusting dirt sheets. For the second time this year, when they actually did get sold. It's, for some reason, it's not as big of a deal you would think it would be. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that, in that case, unless it's like Sean or Sap, Don't trust them. Then I'm not trusting it. And Meltzer maybe like half the time, but you can sort of have to weed that one through. That out. Well, yeah, if you're reading the transcripts of what he says. It's yeah. Sort of uh, let's go for some main strokes. 
Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that, that news lasted like almost 48 hours until AEW decided to use Wonder Bridge Stars. But hey, uh, yeah. And then The Rock decided to show up. But uh, not news worth the week at all. Uh, nope. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but this was much as your McIntyre at, like I say, it's been kind of steel for a little time. Should have towards the hilltop or exactly what it needs. At the end of the day, he has the background abilities to make it work. And I'm curious to see how it goes. For now, though, I'll sell for the pretty awesome looking clean one up from the pin. Yeah. That I got the win on. That's your list. Uh, here was code, pretty much another straightforward segment was code for a chat. Uh, what, so it's a chat and talk about Jay and the pending tree. But, uh, well, Dominic and JD McDonald have something to say. Cody can Uh, Well, I'm, I'm going to say this. I think Cody is the eventual trade now. Yeah. Yeah. Real schedule be everyone to sleep on. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did see that. Okay. So, uh, we're, Real was all first people. Uh, but, let will just to clarify, Real, I guess Real got clear of it out of so. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Real did the sexually harass last week. My God. Uh. <laughs> and then Drew and Jay was set for next week. Uh, that's Shea Bays or Squash Chelsea Green. Uh, Yeah. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, and then, uh, dude, Piper helped Chelsea, or, well, not really helped Chelsea, Chelsea just attacked Tired her. Just, just that, just attacked Shayna, and then Zoe came out to s- save Shayna. Well, actually, they saved her from Chelsea. Zoe had to see for a six in Chelsea. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't touch Piper, no two of them had to stream out with Piper. Uh, so it's good, I will next step came out for a chat, and I know she, well, the second was really just straightforward. Uh, he wanted to fight Nakamura. Nakamura said no, and Ryan Bell were shit. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's a copy of last week, but that's the, sort of the point of the story. Seth wants to keep wants to fight Nakamura, but Nakamura's like, no, I'm gonna do it in my own time, and then just said, like Joe said, be a break Uh, um, up next, uh, in my match tonight, like Alpha Academy, Tommaso Ciampa defeat Imperial. Uh. Yeah, just a pretty damn good six man tag here. Uh, yeah, this was a fast paced, almost non stop action match. I'm sure you didn't do it. after the break. Uh, Ose continues that. I uh, guess I should talk about Ose a little bit because all things are gable. As like, uh, Ose continues that weird charisma to him that makes him this goofy stuff look good. But this was again about Gunther versus Gable. They're likely having all match at Faceline, and Gable almost has to win the title. Handed this much hype. Yeah. <laughs> If it happens at face lane, do you think that could mean that face lane, honestly? Probably could. <laughs> probably could. They're called, I'm not, say, I'm not trying to say it's been disrespectful. They're called the World Tower Championship in the world. It's the main title Yeah. It's the main title of the world, right? Yeah. Uh, Gun- <laughs> Gun- Gunther's reign means more to me than Seth's title reign. So that's the case of the guy making the title? Yeah. So are you saying that's why Gunther should be the next world champion? Yeah. <laughs> Because maybe then you'll be like, oh, maybe I can maybe over room in one night. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, man, is that a payback? I, I, I'm, I'm all aboard the Gunther vs. Brock at WrestleMania train. Brock's a part time. Uh, I'm all. That, that's the world title. The world title is the world title. Or something. Yeah, but Gunther vs. Brock gives me a boner. I'm just going to come out and say it. That idea sounds really appetizing to me. Gunther goes over them. Yeah. Just two final bosses going at it. And Hell G- yes. And Gunther goes over them. <laughs> yes. But people will be upset that Brock's the workhorse shape now. Or something. Because that's the workhorse title, the World title, remember? That's what they said. That that title needs something. It's such prestigious belt in wrestling. It's number one on the PWI 500. That title needs... That title needs a moment. Well, Gunther... Uh, I'm getting... Gunther Cody yeah, yes, yes, that's a good champion and he has good matches, but I'm like His opponents were interested in him straight. Yeah. Whether it's Finn, he had a more interest sort of priest. Nakamura's more interesting <laughs> than him currently. Yeah, because there, AJ was more interested than in him winning the title. Edge was Edge, Edge, Edge was the most interesting person yeah, to have that title. title. Yeah. Uh because uh, uh, well to be fair, Edge also thought it was the same title that he had previously won. Just to find out when they did run this thousand days. It's not the same title. <laughs> to be fair. Well, I think all he said related to it is that it even looks like the title I dropped. Well, he's right. But and we all follow the same thing, but it's not. No. Uh, that Roman has that title. <laughs> so, well, to be fair, nobody else is in that class for a thousand days. Because the universal title is the thousand day. Not the WWE title. 
Well, now they're, now they're the same. Now they're symmetry between them. Yeah. Now they're the same. Roman's been champion for a thousand days, which is impressive on its own. Once he loses that title, though, he's going back to the WWE title. I'm, oh, yeah, for sure. No matter who, Cody. Yeah. No matter who he loses it to one with a Cody, it's going back to the WWE. They're keeping a universal name down, though, because that's the title that, yeah. that did everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Roman's only going to hold the WWE title for about 700 days. Yeah. Right. The thousand day one's on the universal. And the main event for the World Women's title, I am Matt Shaffles, Rush Brandon, or Payback Rash, so I'll bring. Or I would the fear come over yes for Kingdom Roll One style. Uh, yeah, I did, I did think this is a very, a very solid match from both girls here. I would say it was, I would say it was, on the level with it. I I actually didn't mind their, uh, payback match. What did I? I thought this was more of a hospital. Yeah. Than a technical match they were going for. Yeah. Uh, however, I I know the discourse about it is going to be what happens to end the match and after the match. But yeah, both girls put in good work here. Yeah, they were having a hoss fight here and Robert Rodriguez was going step for step and Ripley. But then the ending happened. Uh, it's a big shock to have not the Bush return. But, uh, unless she has improved a good bit, I don't want to say a bit, a good bit, <laughs> since the end of her last round, it might not be the best addition. If she can move out there well enough, and it's a good bit safer and cool, but uh, otherwise I'm not sure about this. That bonsai splash didn't give me any hope, though. Post match, she hit the bonsai already in the show. Ah, uh, her ass looked like uh, it just landed straight in her stomach. Yeah. Uh, overall, though, I thought there was enough good action on the show. Make it three hours go by pretty quickly, and that's the best thing that can be said about most rules. Uh, the ending is the big moment of the show. A little what feels like a Drew McIntyre heel turn. Uh, I'm curious about where some of these things are going. And Jay Uso feels like an actual high level star as he sprinkled throughout the show. Uh, this was but this week was when I set things up for later on that and on that front it was a good success. Uh NXT kicked off with I think I think this was a match of the week or another match. Not necessarily on NXT, but later. But I'm gonna go with them, at least for right now. My match at night. Uh, you know, I do love the women's match. My match at night, Ilya, Ilya Dragon off the feet of Leslie, you come to look at Uh, I at least definitely thought this was the, this was the better of a string of really good matches on NXT, but more yeah. on that later. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this this one had a good amount of time to breathe and was hard hitting, like a Dragon off match, with, in which you would expect a Dragon off match. And there seems to be something going out of it with Wesley, too, so... Good business for both guys here. And excellent match from both. Yeah, this is quite the fight with Dragonel and Lee Roy Harbo Lee hanging in over his own face face office. While Dragonel felt like the favor, it would have been crazy Lee pick up the win, which gave the match a natural layer drama. Dragonel versus Hayes, too, should be a heck of a fight, though. And no mercy, she's looking a lot better. Yeah. No, that is funny, because there was only one, that was only match. Now, the safe, that was better. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I'll next to the, well, uh, this is just, this, this will be a new source of promo. Brown Breaker and Baron Corbin segment. Uh, yeah, I, I actually like how this went in a different way, where both them being heels. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm ex as excited for the match it's set up, since Corbin is still a heel in a way, as he took delight in uh, Von Wagner's gold and crush underneath the steps. Uh, but at least should be. At least is an interesting one for both guys. Uh, believe it or not, since no holds barred, it probably could actually be a really good match. I don't think it's a holds barred yet. I, I thought they said no holds barred. One, two, no. I, I thought I thought Braun said no holds barred. Well, I think he did, but the Griffin just said Braun versus Baron. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully it's no holds barred. Uh, as I'm not sure if a straightforward wrestling match suits either either one here again with each other. Uh, I'm glad they didn't turn quarter face, though they could maybe work there, I think. Uh, but Breaker jumped straight to my match. I felt so like I needed another step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least until next week. Uh, up next, um, 
Uh, well, Char Dempsey, David Tepet, Drew Gulak, Squash, Josh Briggs, Brooks, I said, Miles Bourne. Uh, yeah, Miles My Bourne ends up turning <laughs> turning on his honky tonk buddies. Uh, of two weeks. Of two weeks. Uh, and apparently there was some sort of relationship with Fallon that. That we never were told about. Yeah. So okay. yeah. Okay. One of the best seal tours I've never I I I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, it was that anti back. Uh I'm next liar about Fury to feed Dana Brooke. Uh well yeah, right on. <laughs> uh every time I watch Dana <laughs> smashes as segments and try to find a way. <laughs> Enjoy myself. To be interested in anything <laughs> she does. Every week that gets harder and harder to do. <laughs> As she continues to be that uninteresting. She's just someone who can have an acceptable match. It happens to have been around for a long time. Uh, to me that doesn't warrant as much TV time. But she's here doing the same thing. Week in and week out regardless. <laughs> Good for her picking up that paycheck. Up next, Dijak with the tree. Uh, uh, yeah, where Dijak start whipping Eddie Thorpe's tree. That's what we. That's not a euphemism for anything. He, he literally took out his belt and whipped it and whipped a tree. I thought he was going to strip piece. Eddie Thorpe hangs around. We actually did say he was strip off his belt. Yeah, I thought he was going to strip piece. It was. What about going thunderstorm? Is is that the closest we're supposed to get to a cop whipping a, na a Native American? Oh Jesus! What's that, Spocker? Uh... I'm gonna, sure more woke minds would reach that conclusion faster than I would. That boy's going to get some justice, sir. Yeah. Not like carving in Dijak in the tree or something. Oh, we're waiting to get to a map in the third match, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm next in a global higher Irish invitational group, I Tom Bait the Fee Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, it was dope. Um, uh, yeah, we're really good match here. The downside of the. UK Heritage Cup is the fact that, well, we only get the at most 12 minute matches with a good bit of those matches coming off and ending a lot sooner than then. Uh, but honestly, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth of Tyler Bate and Axiom or Dempsey happening on level up and. Don't worry, he has a shoot for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh,. Butch next week. Yeah, as said to be the case with a lot of the team matches, the break to the middle to kill this a lot of the flood end going because it's only a 10 minute match. Axe is going to his great hands, though. That can wrestle with anyone. Well, Bate always feels like he's one step away from being a breakout star. They had to go back for a match here and could have been better with some more time. That's like, that's the outside of this mm -hmm. Uh, Butch, the, the very backstage where he said Tyler Bate tends to bring out the bruiser or him. Uh, Joe Gacy in the range tree was dying. Don't ask me. Uh, they, uh, they lost two of their roots. As Booker said, the young grizzled the veterans have left. It's the other way around. It's I'm the other way around, Booker. I'm surprised he knew they were the grizzled young veterans to begin with. Yes. I thought you just knew them as the die act. <laughs> uh, up next, uh, the Kree brothers defeat Malik Blade and Idris and Uh... Yeah, the Crew Brothers win a relatively easy match for them. It was a fast paced match, but the Crew just show how how they are far above every other team around here. That is including the tag champions. Yeah. Dirk Cribs, they work they work well together and Julius is house clean is as good as it gets in NXT. I'm not denying Bruce here, I'm literally saying the, the hot tag work. Uh, they feel like they're one big match away from the main roster, though. No. Uh the 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 division gets some death. Might keep them around a bit longer. <laughs> then uh, Roxanne talks about the women's breakout tour ring that I forgot to mention has come up soon. Well, that can mean Jay Carkill, maybe. But I'll watch Lopez and Lola Voice come in and talk trash to her. Nothing actually needs to work on that. It's, it's a WWE thing. We'll learn how women talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Moving on up, they Fridge squash characters out in, in the group B. Global Harbor Trying to take on the match. I mean, if that got a good length, too, that would probably would have rocked as well. Yeah, that was close. Uh, 
and the main event, uh, NXT Women's Hall, Becky Lynch defeat Tiffy Stratton to win NXT Women's Hall. Uh, yeah, I thought this one was a really good match. Uh, probably Tiffany's best match so far. Uh, but yeah, they both put in good work. Uh, Tiffany doesn't ne didn't necessarily lose much losing the title, as they had her hang in there with arguably the best in the entire company. So yeah, this was a heck of a match, and the good sign is that Strano looked more comfortable. And there is top star like Becky. They got something with Tiffany, and it seems like they know it, which makes her all the more valuable. At the same time, Becky isn't likely to be a long term champion. Though, they might want to do that. That might change out with the, what the rating spike was for NXT with her. Yeah. And someone, and someone can eventually take the title from her and break rope for them. Whether that be Tiffany again, Kiana, who they tease, Lyra, who they tease, Jade, who's coming in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but great main event here, and they won't even live up to the expectations. Uh, overall, as usual, NXT's at its best when it lays out a bunch of things they need to do and then accomplishes them. Oh, well, some some for the future. So that was the case here with both next week as well as No Mercy being sale. At the same time, they had a good opener and Baron, and uh, a better opener and a good main event, I should say, my fault. All around. Making a strong wrestle show as well. Very solid for this week, and then Mercy's looking that much better rather quickly. Uh, Dynamite. Kicked off with, uh, for the international title, John Moxley defeating Big Bill. Uh, yeah, decent match to start everything off with Dynamite for. Uh, yeah, they set to get Moxley off the first. It's they were society, so it seems like it be the most popular star throughout the show. Beating Bill still feels like something that matters, and Moxley gets to show the submission stuff on the way there. At the same time, we went to get Starks versus Moxley in the future, which could work well, so nice over. Uh, almost gibberish. Uh, I'll next, uh, Tony Storm defeated Nyla Rose, Burt Baker, and Hikaru Shia for no one can turn smash her the woman's title. Uh, yeah, surprise it wasn't Nyla Rose because she, she's the usual first opponent for new champions. Uh, but yeah, it was going to be Tony Storm. Uh, she, she's by far the most interesting and has the most interaction with Soraya and the outcast at this point, so. Yeah, uh, Tony was absolutely, absolutely very cool. Here, she's been on fire with her own top self lately. At the same time, she has the connection with Soraya through the Alcatraz, so they face that much more interesting. The match itself kept moving, but as usual, that break in the middle of the match that wasn't very long in the first place hurt a lot because it was only an eight minute match. Okay, so they changed the times for the woman now in Dynamite. Like, they still did the same amount. Ah! Uh, 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 up next is Chris Jericho, Sam and Gavar's segment, Southern Rash for next week for Grand Slam. Um, yeah, this one was a fine segment. Um, they've been sharing the line of, are they going to break up, or do they want to fight each other, or do they want to tag team with each other? Uh, which, I think they've, they've done well and, and used that with them, but... I think they need to decide on what they're going to do with, with it, especially at Grand Slam. As there needs to be some sort of finality in any direction you're going to go. Well, with. I was confused by Sammy saying he wanted to be on Jericho's shadow in the promo. Then he said after the match, he wants to go he to the tag, tag team. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, this this one for a bit. This one. Uh, this was a little too much talking from AEW. Yeah. Uh, but the video they 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 did show how much history they have together. Probably just showed just off that. that. Uh, uh, up next time, Jeff, the Steyer math, even more they look on our confused. Uh. I, I'm always a mark <laughs> for Steiner, for, for Steiner math, promo, so. Uh, up next, I'm on Mash of Night, Hanging and Page, Defeat Brian Cage. Uh, yeah, I thought this match was really freaking good. Um, it, you don't always get to see Brian Cage on, on Dynamite. Too big. He's too big. And. He tips his skills. Yeah. And he, but when he, but when he does, it's usually 
an interesting time to say the least. Uh, but yeah, Hangman, Hangman's the big star, so he's not taking that loss. Yeah, these guys hang out of each other here, and it was quite the slug out. Uh, well, Matt here was getting Hangman a win on his way to a bigger showdown with Swerve. Uh, Hangman hasn't done much on his own in a long time now, and it's nice to see him having something to do again. Pretty awesome match here, too. Uh, pretty much Hangman, post match Hangman from Swerve of something. Brian anchored him as a way to do himself. Swerve said this is over in one night, issued the challenge for Russell Drew, he made that official. And then Brian jumped Hangman from behind, and then I'm on, uh, dance some today, somewhere nearby, making it awesome, but then you know, I'm afraid to see. I tried to be cool like Dixon. Yep. Didn't work. No. They're white. Oh yeah, Eric Bischoff saw anyone that looks cool with Dixon like that. Yes. For some reason, Eric Bischoff was way into it. That wasn't doing it. It's probably fun. See, he lo he hates AEW. Uh, I, I was too white, to be fair. See how much he loves AEW? Yeah. He did for some of things. Yeah. Uh, we look, we had a nice video package on Jake Hartwell's return. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that night we, we learned that, uh, yeah, her contract's up. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Uh, <laughs> Probably around the same time, in fact. Uh, up next, Nick Wade Barbie Allen defeat Matt Menard and Angela Parker. Uh, yes, same with Wars, only wants to part of me, Jay, yes, one good. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep, that's about what happened. Um, uh, yeah, Bernard and Parker are the kind of people you can find them because someone else will win. Made a little program process. Match point up, but a match piece where I gave Darby and Nick a win. Had up good action. The only thing that was really good was from Christian. Well, commentary, so that was better. Mm -hmm. And they sell Christian, which is for, for, I guess, Sega Darby for Grand Slam Rampage next week. Yes, Rampage is two hours next week. No, it will not be in the weekly show reviews the following Monday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 just to clarify that. Yes. It's not. It's a one-off. It don't mean nothing. Uh, my fault. I made that decision on my own. Oh, hold on. My fault. Look, uh, to be fair, we, I probably should have talked about this before, but I'm aware. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bra uh, Graceland, I'm looking to turn tournament final main event, so I would join the fever on your show. Uh... Yeah, I thought this match was really good. Uh, but jo Joe's the big bad that's terminating MJF, so the ending was, was a little obvious here, but they did find a way to continue the Roger Strong out of cool stuff. Yeah, um, and then they, Joe Wynn was the right way though from the start of the tournament. While Ryan's stuff has been great lately, his issues were with Adam than MJF. Mm -hmm. Let Joe get his big moment, and perhaps he won the title. Why the hell? Well, well, Ryan and Adam can do their own thing. Uh, the end of with Joe choking Ryan out. I mean, Joe like a monster, yeah, and that's where he shocks the most. post match, Joe promises to take everything that Jack has. Joe leaves. So Ryan and the Kingdom has some words, and then Ryan goes down, grabs his neck, when he's down cold running out. <laughs> and then it was time for him to go out on his structure. Uh, the Kingdom yell at Adam, but here is Joe getting choke Adam out. And then one more grand slam wraps us up. Run down, wraps us up. Uh, yeah, everyone this show is all about some Grand Slam and, and a bit more. Uh, and as usual, that did work. Grand Slam has a tendency to be a big deal for AEW. And they have certainly made a car feel important. That being said, Wrestling Dream 20, a lot of attention in a hurry. Mm -hmm. As there are only two more Dynamics, I believe, left before the show with. Now, as a collision with three matches announced for yeah. Grand Slam. Um, for now, a good Dynamic with the bigger show coming next week, though. Uh, and and pack one thousand like one kicked off with uh. Just to clarify, this is show nine nine nine, right? No, this is one. Oh, okay. This is one thousand. Oh, okay, it is one thousand. Yeah, it's just I don't think I think they had enough stuff for four hours. Yeah. And if it was a three hour, if it was only like a three hour, probably just push over a special for Thursday night, but three hours, but. Yeah. I, I got a little confused yeah. by Scott DeMora staying in, t in 998 shows later. Oh, wait, you did say that. Never mind. Yeah. You might be right. No, oh, you know what? It's a pack 1,000. Oh, yeah, I guess that will be the conclusion next week, so technically that will be the 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we have a little rare. No one told me about the videos, but this one, we have a little rare, cool, rather in death history to show. This really does give you some flashbacks. I've been watching this show for a little time now. 
Well, I've been watching them since the Fox days. The Fox Sports days. Mm -hmm. that, so that's, that is 18 years. Uh, my senior they were on, on the hunting channel. Uh, <laughs> um, I didn't get that channel. So, uh, yeah. So I've been watching, like, five years ago. I've been, so I've been watching them for a long time now. And, well, I still have bad moments. <laughs> For sure. There have been some classic moments as well. Uh, the problems around here weren't often closer to wrestlers, though. And they deserve the credit for helping them get this far. <laughs> the wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, open C Clips was a mixture of the old Impact logo on the current um, and new clips. That's got the more welcome than everybody's show. Sorry with Gil Kim, which led to the knockouts 10, 10 woman tag. Main event segment. I'm guessing it will be the main event for night two next week. Mm -hmm. For that segment. Yeah. With the returns of Tasha Steele from the heel side and Mickey James from the main event. When did Deanna turn heel? Last. What? Right to the match with Trinity at and Mer. Well, I'm like Victor Road. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh. Yeah, being that I, I saw some parts, but I didn't see the end of Victory Road. But that part was a little caught me by surprise. But uh, yeah, it was fun seeing all the knockouts of past and present come out here and have their have their moment to shine and say a couple things, uh, and to set up a match. The yeah, outside of Tower and ODB, uh maybe a few hours like Master Lane. This is practically a who's who of the knock of the knockouts yeah. and they deserve a lot of praise even if we're if we were thirty minutes into the show. Yeah. But this is one of those special cages shows where nostalgic's going to trump water's going on from this point. Yeah. So that's okay on these types. Uh Sam, Shark Boy's now the new deputy di deputy director of authority as Santino uh, knowledge baptized him for <laughs> uh, and America's most wanted ever jump for yes. Uh Feast or Fire Feast or Fire was back, so who's going to WB next? Uh <laughs> That's usually what that, those things mean. Uh why don't we have all the winners listed here? Um off the top of my hanger. First Bay. Crazy Steve, I believe it was. Moose. Yeah, Moose got the last one. And you you and War. Yeah. One the one the Feast of Fires. Um so I, I get not having everybody's entrance happening for the match since you just had like a 30 minute segment and you still only have two hours on, on night one. That not everybody can get their segments, but I'm, I'm kind of confused by the, the entrances that we did get as you had guys like Moose, Steve Macklin, Sammy Callahan. It was Heath yeah. he for somebody else, right? There we go. Yeah. Uh, it was like Heath, PCO, and uh, Joya. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, Joya, yeah, they're crap. They're crap getting into their that's thing, why. but I, I would think focusing on the on the major stars in the match would probably be a little bit more important. Uh, as you do have a net two for for the for a good bit of the talent. Uh, I do kind of wish that this was also about about ten minutes shorter. Yeah, it was still two minutes. Yeah, so maybe, well, maybe not ten minutes, about eight, about five minutes. Yeah, shorter. Uh, as the as this just felt like people just doing spots right before they would just go up and grab the briefcase. Yeah. Uh I had no idea how the coldest is it's not going to run the on my match yet. People could slowly be eliminated, and then when the fourth case is won, it just stops. Uh, it's kind of like a ladder match, but with staggered endings, but the real drama is in the re reveals, which I believe they said take place next week. So we'll find out who's not in the company anymore. Really uh, between that group... Oh, well, Moose just resigned. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Crazy Steve just started getting punched with his new gear. Chris Bay and Yuya Yumura and Yuya Yumura just finally started doing something with him jump Hendry. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, oh, well, I watched him. <laughs> I mean, I could see them giving Yuya the firing briefcase and then have a story with Joe 
Oh, yeah, the Joe Hendry, yeah. I'm gonna watch him with his Chris Bay. Um, what with Chris Bay versus Carmelo Hayes in like a few months. That's fine. Ah! <laughs> Hell, you bring your buddy too. Ace also. Yeah. See, they're probably happy to follow you. <laughs> they're the only two Bullet Club members I actually care about, so. What's your what's good? They're Bullet Club gold. Oh, right now. I, 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 you're talking about the David Philly, right? Yeah. Are you talking about David Philly and all the young boys in the No. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not at all. Uh, okay. Bye, Uh. Yeah, uh, oh, well, it shouldn't be if we're spraying with Carmel Hayes happy if he wants. No. <laughs> At least Pat will be happy. They'll probably get a world title push into them. Yeah. Even if they don't win, he'll be happy to run in the main scene somewhere. Yeah. Because you're never running in their mid 20s, but they need to be in the main event scene now. Uh, <laughs> hey, they put them in the main event seed. Two fears hit Pack. I mean, it's not like they're, that's a world term for, yeah. for most people anymore. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, at least tell them, hey, we're, we're willing to give, give you the major spots. Yeah, the big part of the match was Rhino's return to end a close team back on the board case because he got bored and it flew out the same and lose the same the outside of the ring. Oh, that, uh, that was a nice one because I completely Mack on top of Rhino. Well. Uh, up next, Team 3D defeated the Desi Hit squad. Uh, yeah, Team 3D got, got in all their stuff and the Desi Hit squad took it. Yeah, all things considered, uh, this was a fine match, and the nostalgia was strong with this one. Uh, Devon Wilson was looking pretty awesome, given how long he's been on the ring, and, and had just had a shrimp recently, every yeah. single year, so he did look pretty awesome out there. And so it was great to see the, one of the best teams ever get one last match. I never been more famous for a time in WWE and ECW, but T3 had a heck of a run and impact. It's more than a separable place for them to have this kind of moment. Mm -hmm. Um, next, uh, Josh Alexander and Alex Shelley had a confrontation, and Alex Shelley left them hanging in some rascals. Uh, yeah, there, there was a nice confrontation between the two, continuing their stuff from their first match, or the vote to their first match, where it got a little chippy before that match. Uh, so, yeah, overall, this one was a really good segment. Yeah, uh... Yeah, it was interesting. So we go with Alex Shelley. Looks like he's leaning more heel now. Uh, and having the rest of the same toll, we saw saw Josh and Trey, I believe. Yeah. For next week, which should be rare also. But uh, yeah, it, and I prefer. I think it's without confirming. I I pretty much assume we think we have Alex Shelley for Josh and Shelley. Yeah. Uh, now. Uh, up next, Frankie Kazir and Tracy Brooks if via A. Edwards and Alex Shadowers. Uh, well, Kaz and Tracy finally get their one back. Uh, yeah, this one was a fine match with that playing on the nostalgia of Tracy and Kaz working together to defeat the heels of Alicia and Eddie. Yeah, Tracy's return with the bigger deal here, and for someone who was wrestling on her first match in 11 years, I believe they said it was, that she did just fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, this should be enough to wrap up the feud and put it tonight, gave the big milestone show. Frankie did most of the work here. As, well, he should. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially in this situation. Uh, Pose asked Frankie. Only Tracy might be better than the person that's actually. Oh, she's definitely very Her counterpart on the other team. Yeah. Uh, Pose asked Frankie as a surprise, and Tracy Brooks got an all fame. Back in the ring, Tracy's in tears as her, as her son is suffering with her Frankie. An awesome moment. And, uh. Then in the main event, which was the other match I was fighting for my match of the week. Uh, but I think it would lead, just because of the time given to it, I think it would lead a little bit more towards this one, barely, for the X-Men's yeah. title. Uh, I'm actually perceiving to be Leo Rush to win the x Men's title. Uh, yeah, I held off the same match as we because of this match. Um, yeah, I did think this one was the best one. Uh, really excellent match here with Chris Saban retaining, or regaining the x Men's title. See, Impact, yeah, we always said the x Men's does good stuff. We always say that. But see how much better it is when there's actually a storyline between just two guys in a one-on-one -on -one match for the X Division. Uh, that was and that including six or seven people? Right, see how much better it is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like some way to wrap up a special show. And the good thing here is that Saban win the title is a sudden out number change. Saban is, a, Saban is a regular star around here in Leo Rush New Japan for now. I should just look as long as he wants this WWE. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> has retired yet. That's amazing. And now, unfortunately, now that Tyre Funk hat is no longer with us. He is the new Tyre Funk. Yeah. Uh, in terms of retirement. Uh, yeah, but Sabin is a regular star around here, and he, he has to be the most successful X-Division wrestler ever. Sabin. 
Oh, for sure. He, I think they said this was 10? Yeah. So, yeah. This was a special balance between the nostalgic and modern stuff and which happened to come in a pretty old smash. Uh, Bunch of wrestlers come out to celebrate the same man in the show. Uh, overall, there's no way to show about this was no way to show about the wrestling. As I said, this is all about the nostalgia and having fun while looking back at the company's history. It's real for any show to make it this far. Other than rolls smacked out. But, but somehow I'll guess the odds. <laughs> through, ev through every fucking thing this company's been through, <laughs> they're <laughs> still fucking here. Uh, but somehow I've got. Use the one or old paper view names against the laws. <laughs> they did it. And I'll use the even modern one. Hard, through against the laws, they're hard to kill. Right. They are the they are the third longest weekly wrestle program of all time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they have outlasted Nitro. <laughs> Obviously not Mike was not just star four years ago, but yeah, they've outlasted Nitro and Thunder for instance, and who was much bigger than them, but yes. <laughs> so for it all. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's River for Asia making that far, and it made things a little more special, and I had a great time to show exactly what it should have been. I got a show here, I'm really looking forward to part two next week. These type of anniversary celebration shows, it's okay if you lean in heavy on the nostalgia. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to condemn that an issue. That's, yeah. that's exactly what it should be, because it's a celebratory show. Uh, so uh, on the first main roster show, I guess, if, I know X was the first official show, but then Denver Banner wrote the SmackDown was the first one they have time to prepare for. Oh, uh, it never happened on Tuesday. Uh, so, so SmackDown opened up with, uh, Pat McAfee, Lost in Fury, and some guy named Rock. Uh, 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 yeah, there were, the day, or like the day before, or like that morning, where Pat McAfee had his show, or about college football and The Rock being there. It was literally mentioned, so everyone saw that. Oh, maybe there's a possibility. But no, SmackDown just comes out and gives it to you in the in the first segment. Uh, Austin Theory gets to rub his shoulders against another legend. And even, and even was allowed some time to shine here, unlike some other people on the, sh on the show only had for Theory. Uh... But he, he was able to get a moment with him, and Denver also got a huge moment as the originator of the phrase SmackDown came home to his show. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep it simple. I'll say Rock Shaw on his toes and probably still works. Yep. Yeah, that pop was insane. Yeah, especially when he's in Rock mode. Mm -hmm. Where he felt like he was the Rock, and I'm playing the Rock. Uh... Up next, uh, in my match, I like, like, everything, uh, no offense to everybody else, uh, but, uh, Finn Balor defeated AJ Styles. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard to beat, <laughs> if you're looking to beat somebody in match quality, it's gonna be hard to beat AJ Styles versus Finn. And uh, this was only an eight-man match, but I got yeah. a little time cut because of the Rock segment, yeah. but still, it was AJ Finn Ravens. Yeah, uh, if they, if next week they want to redo it again and give them, like, 15 minutes, then go right the mm -hmm. fuck ahead. Right. They threaten me with a good time. Rome's not gonna be around next week, so yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like these two are going to have anything but a good match. Yeah. Uh, uh, the ending, the ending. He's trying to big story going around a rolling though as Jim continues to mess with things. They're having a few people. Last week I was a little not harsh, but I was a little. I got why people were down on it. As I go through the show, they're having a few people get involved here. And I think that without Roman, it's making it for a more interesting story for the ball line right now. But having a few more quality names get involved. Because I don't think, I think players already got to take, change a little bit because Jimmy really is not the J. I think a little bit, and I think they're seeing that. So having all these moving parts with it helps it. Well, uh, also, like, it it kind of does fit because the power, <laughs> the power vacuum of the bloodline just completely disintegrating. SmackDown feels like they're building to Survivor Series or something. With yeah. With all the stables. Mm -hmm. Roll seems like they're more on the build a fast league. Yeah. SmackDown seems like they're going longer to they're trying to do something longer with the stables. Well, there's more games yeah. with something Survivor Series elimination stuff. Looks I'm fine just do Survivor Series elimination tag for me. That's fine. <laughs> if you're going that route, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine too, but yeah. No, uh, I swear to rash itself, like I said, it was Bauer versus it was Thursday. Yeah. Not much else we expected. Uh, 
comes back about backstage, see them, see them rock out, steer down, and everything's cool, see them push a rock, walk a rock back home. Not the last time where they shook hands at the top of the ramp at MetLife. Right. Uh, Fade out. Ten years ago. Fuck, that was ten years ago. God, that trip was ten years ago. <laughs> That's a whole other podcast. <laughs> oh, maybe we can do a special podcast the week of WrestleMania week. Talk about that experience. Yeah, invite Ant to speak about it. No. No coke words in my in my mind. Uh, so, fine. No, we, we should interview all of them. I see we could probably come to a conclusion to the story. <laughs> oh, what happened on that trip? Because we still don't have an exact yeah. answer. We it just... may not matter to any of you, but it matters to us to figure out what happened. Here's a hint. There was a Joan Rivers lookalike stripper next door to us in, the, in our hotel room. I don't think she was a stripper. I thought I think she was something else. Exotic person of the night. Uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. Hooker. Solicitor. Subway worker. Where you can get two footballs. I don't know. Uh, South Hackensack, New Jersey. Beautiful that time of year. Uh, <laughs> don't stay there. Nice beaches in the spring. J- j- just, uh, we'll, we'll let you in on this. We stayed at a night's end. Take with that information as you will. At the time, it was the third high. It was the second highest rate hotel in the area. It now no longer exists. No, it's there. Uh, but it no longer exists. No, the, the diner doesn't exist. Uh, it's now right ranked fourth out of fourth. It fell down. <laughs> Yeah, so that so that was the bulk of our WrestleMania 29 trip. Anyway, let's let's continue on. It's tune in for that WrestleMania week. We're gonna do a special podcast with that. We will interview everybody that was on that trip. Well, no, not him, because I don't know if he exists anymore. Okay, it'll be like eight. Uh, <laughs> Isaiah's not really talking anymore. Okay, well, anyway. And Isaiah's not really talking. Uh, Isaiah's not really talking anymore. Right yeah. Okay, well, anyway. Actually, we got Romania tickets. Nah. Well, anyway. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Pat was going off on a tangent there. Focus. I said it was, which was ten years ago. And then it just happened. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. We have more to talk about that than we're going to explain to my nice <laughs> That was a start of me. That was like the fourth time I met Cody on the first time I met him. Yeah. Uh, kind of freaky. I'm going to say I don't know. Uh, then Finn tries to get Jimmy to join the blog. If Finn tries to get Jimmy joining the judgment day, like Dominic's trying to recruit Jay on Earl, they can do something back together and hang on the spine. On that. Uh, LWO came out for chat and saw two challenge Ray to a match. The line race, you can't get back, but obviously, which is good because of course he sucks. And Bobby Lashley, the Street Profits come out to a row for the challenge to be made. Oh, that Street Profits squashed the, uh, LWO by thinking this is where we're squashing that this one's trimmed. Well, Todd, this definitely got trimmed for Todd. Yeah. That's all I think. Uh, then, uh, post match, they officially turn heel, and the entire LWO will take it out. The Bob is still getting big reactions, but this is me back. Yeah, he's even, like, posing in the crowd, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm next, I always like to feed the Miz. Uh, yep. That. That one about as well as their pay per view match, uh, this time with considerably less John Cena. Uh, yeah, LA Knight picks up the win here, and rightfully so. Yeah, uh, it was a little shorter than the payback match, uh, and that does help it too. Good bit. What matters to is LA get the win, and Theory should move on the flyer. This really should end with you, so LA can move on to something else, and I feel like want to feed up one exactly as it should have, at least in a break. Who's that? Shelly says he's here for gold. That doesn't matter if it's Rubens here. Gunther said Rawls or, or even Roman Reigns. Uh, he's top two and he's not second. So everybody's saying it. LA Knight. That was a good one. Uh, then we come to the back where uh, Solo wasn't pleased with LA Knight. But Heyman tried to talk about how Roman has to give that kind of word. Solo has to worry about Jimmy and Sita. Solo said here there's like he's doing for all for that tonight. And he looks at the thumb taped up and leaves. And then Heyman said out of the shark school to Roman. Uh, then pre Delhi came in the app here, so we find that El- Elton's about to be uh, cleared. And Amp here's one of the wider and loop plays Elton in a wheelchair. 
for our shoulder. Very shoulder. shoulder. But I said we just did a quick pep talk and yes, bleed. <laughs> Which, knowing pretty deadly like I know pretty mm. deadly, right on. And then Dakota kind of blame my Bailey for everything. We got a little bit damaged because a lot of Bailey's been distracted lately. Uh, up next, on Oscar defeated Bailey. Uh, yep. So, ben, Banding is obvious as Oscar does have a match with Ia next week for the title. Uh, which I'm highly looking forward to. Uh, yeah, this one this one was a fine match here with Shotzi getting in number one over on Bailey, costing her the match. Yeah, uh, yeah. For me, uh, this match helped fuel a few stories. As you had, I'll see you right for a tell match next week. I guess the no, I guess EO. as well as Shotzi scared Bailey. So Al Bailey, as usual, Bailey can't beat Oscar. I don't know if Bailey's ever beat Oscar. No, I think it was shot. Uh, so, so, yeah, yeah, 2020. Yeah, yeah. That's a, uh, but that's not the point here. Uh, Oscar's ready to go. And Shossi's looking like more of a star mm -hmm. than she ever has before, finally. Things are probably starting to come together for her. And uh, that's not bad for a match that didn't even last five minutes. Yeah. So. And uh, and Oscar, her pound of fist after the match, so I figured out Oscar's officially being faced. Yes. And. Up next was the great, uh, tend to show was the great Wilder effect with John Cena. Uh, yeah, well, Cena didn't necessarily <laughs> talk. talk. Uh, Eric Rackham Waller Rackham. Yes. Including, gr including Grayson Waller, Jimmy, Solo, and then, and then AJ made the save out off the beatdown. Yeah. Which, after the beat up John Cena stuff, Cena and AJ have reached a, an alliance against... <laughs> The their remaining of the bloodline. Yeah, uh, this is starting to get interesting with everyone, everything coming together. I will say, and I want to see where it goes more than I did them before. So, mm -hmm. uh, overall, I first off, this is the best SmackDown so least. <laughs> yes. Uh, but there was very little reason to care about the wrestle here. We had the Rock. Uh, yeah. But the action itself was more than fine enough. LA got his win. Oscar looked strong going into her title match. And Finn versus AJ work because it's Finn and AJ. At the same time, you guys still being teacher later, including multiple stories coming together in that segment. I like this show a lot with Rock being one of the bigger surprises in recent memory. And yes, I have said that just about for every show. My favorite happened in the was a special show, where it felt like every show this week was set up stuff for later. Yeah. Which is good. Which is good. At least you're making most of your three, two to three hours on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, Collision kicked us off with. Uh, Uh, Brian Nelson, Claudio Castanoli, defeat of Ricky Starks, and Big Bill. Uh, yeah, it was, a it was a solid way to start off Collision. Um, I probably have actually gone with Ricky and Big Bill getting the win here. Because they did, my man. I said that wrong. Yeah. 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 Ricky and Big Bill won. Uh, yeah, so it was a great call for them to get the win. Uh... Yeah, so Ricky gets a big win over two notable names, including a solidified team. And you know what? Big Bill also gets a win, too. So kudos to AEW. No lie, he's like that. a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah there's a, this is a, there is a simple formula for success right now at AEW. I want to say it here. Because right now they could maybe use my advice here. Are you right? Go ahead. Let Brian Danielson have a match. <laughs> yeah. Well. There you go. It's more or less impossible to screw that up. And if you do, you should be fired. Even if you own a company. Uh, uh, you should fire yourself. Uh, and we're to get here. But everyone else doing very well at the same time. Yeah, everyone was working hard here, but Brian's Brian. Mm -hmm. And it was a, it was a good little match of sixty minutes as as they also start to continue going forward in a relatively a pretty big match for next week and Texas Death Match on next week's collision. And a pretty big match for that show. Young Bucks and Hammer going into the Mogul Embassy, not swerve for Texas Hell match there. That's early true, Scott A W. That's a Roy Page. Mirror's ready to hurt anyone who won't be redeemed, including his wife. Uh. <laughs> Tag team titles 
FTR defeated the Irish Savages. Uh, yeah, a, a, a win for FTR here. Yeah, well, they didn't go time for this. I, I, I think it would, I, I go with the idea to fly for a match like this, though. I mean, As the Savages just don't see like a team that have a long shot went for a match. Let's start getting there, do their stuff, and they all felt like they had half a win. It was quick, got the job done, which is about as good as anything else they were going to do. Perhaps I the work worse if they come out. If you ask if the crowd to stay college PA, they didn't know who they were. Ah! Uh, the work worse would be JD Drake, I believe, and. I don't know who that was. But I actually got his point. Was it Anthony Henry? Pat knows more about the Indian scene to me. And there you go. Ah! Uh, as well, well, no, wasn't he also in the, like, Evolve? Yeah, you're, yeah. In Evolve? You're right, yeah. With J.D. Drake? Yeah. And, uh, and that was the open was watching from the back, but that's from there. Uh, up next, uh, Keith Lee was in the back, and the director clap, take 22. There's self stuff with Shane Taylor and Lee Marari, who's in those member of Shane Taylor promotions. Just in case you didn't know, Keith Lee, Shane Taylor works high tea in Ring of Honor. But Ring of Honor, and... Because they, because AEW doesn't have access to that footage of Ring of Honor, apparently. Right. Uh, for some reason, it took 22 takes for this segment. <laughs> and, uh, and then, uh, we, at, this was around the time of Ring of Honor, when the big wigs of Ring of Honor say, you know what? Shane Taylor is it. Keith Lee's nothing. Well, let's release Keith Lee. Yeah, let's give Shane Taylor the money. They never recover from the guard. They never financially recover from that. Not even now. Uh, I don't want as to the uh, Tiger King meme would go, I will never financially recover. You could literally, fr- you could literally put Ram Bonner into the normal storylines all you want in AEW. It still, uh, it still has. It, yeah. it, it still has to recover. It, it's not ECW. It's a dead brand. You sh- you should have you should have uh, just got the video library. <laughs> yeah. Up next, Anthony Bell is defeated the the last minute edition of John Silver. And not Evil Uno. Because Twitter said no Evil Uno. Oh, well, that's gonna make Evil Uno feel good. Yeah, I know. That they're gonna that your company's gonna listen to Twitter. Twitter instead of not believe you. Yeah, and yeah, that's gonna make him feel really good. But I agree with the decision. I uh, actually like John. <laughs> I like John Silver better than Evil Uno. Fuck, I'm getting these results wrong because their results haven't normally happened. My fault. John, John, John Silver defeated Anthony Bellis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the claim wasn't allowed at ringside. Right. How about I don't get the event roll? Uh, okay, so normally that would be the way around. Yeah, uh, yeah, my fault. John Silver defeated Anthony Bellis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just a solid match here, and it continued the story of the acclaimed and the new Dark Order. It's really new. It's the same people. Uh, it's the same people, but, but now everybody's in suits. Bellis is someone who has all kinds of charisma. And that should be enough to carry him somewhere. He and Caster are, are great together, and that might be the way to go for him. But I figure something else go for him if the team stops working. For Anthony Bellis. Not mm-hmm. sure about Max, but for Bellis, I feel like there's a bigger future for the way for him. I think so too. A claim that Billy versus Dark Horse should work for a title feud. At least until someone better comes along. <laughs> they got it for the titles! Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least any case of this would display might not like Cloyo. Any case of told that sister Cloyo, they were friends at six or seven. He, he doesn't remember. But then Cloyo started judging and disrespecting him. Cloyo left potholes in the road that they had to follow. Now he's supposed to fix it. Grace let him tell from hell in the marble. That's between that. Everywhere he goes to New York, it's his, and no one's beating him in New York. Try to be him here. This was at his best at Thunder and Way and saying just whatever comes to his mind about what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hook and Orange Cassie share Gorillas I agreed to team together in Grand Slam and Renee says cool. <laughs> well, that's the most simple and effective segment between the most simple and effective characters. Uh, uh, on next, all the open squash, I have no fucking clue because they didn't get names. Uh, in like 44 seconds and then Called out FCR for Wrestle Dream whether they had their titles on the line or not. Uh, then we get a sit down interview with Tony Storm, Cole Porter from Star with Marjorie C. She insists that she's not changing, and this company will have no talent if it's slapped in the tits. Right. Uh, 
Or, I'm sorry, their tits off. Right. As she did not like the light, she right, as she did not like this lamp. <laughs> More on this later, because it's to be continued. I'm not sure how to define what Tony is doing, but it's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm next on Jaron and Elio, the Fiat Scorpio Sky. Uh, yeah, the solid matcher. I still like Scorpio quite a bit, but he might not be going to say first to start outside him. Have a string of good matches. Uh, the positive about that, it more or less guarantees him a job for as long as he wants one. There, but there's always going to be stuff from the down officer. Uh, Johnny's so very talented and he gets to shut out occasionally, but he needs something new though. So, how does Jay White versus Andrade sound next week? It sounds pretty dope to me. There you go. Uh, a video on Kane Omega's history with Kota Ibushi. Because Don Callis and Kashi are going to Ibushi next. Why is that so hard for everybody else? Because <laughs> it's too dope to be like, well, there's a reason why WWE does certain things. Alright. Uh, Kasuri Shabbat will be at Wrestle Dream with his brain attack. No worry on who he's facing. Ah! Uh, but his brain will be in his body. <laughs> I wish AEW had the balls enough to play into that. I know. Uh, but they'll, they'll have something else for me. Yeah. And the most random of the week. Uh, the Righteous defeat the Hardy Boys up next. <laughs> uh, yeah, they not only beat them, but they actually beat them at a pretty quick match. I could have sworn we hated Dota B for doing this type of thing uh, a few years ago. But okay. I guess it's only bad when Dota B does it. Uh, yeah, so the Righteous, they're a team. Uh, the Hardys losing so often means... That the store here while good for righteous does have the biggest impact. Uh, it's also still sad to see the Hardys out there looking old and banged up even that exactly what they are these days. Uh, uh, I, I actually don't mind them. I actually don't hate the result though. I actually think the result is right at this point. Just, I wish there was a storyline behind it. At least the, the yeah. Hardys would sell. At least the Hardys should win other matches so this way a win up for righteous does mean a lot more. Yeah. Uh, uh I guess more than righteous is a Good for them for that because they're also a different kind of team in AEW. But uh, the Hardys should be picking up ways at least to put over teams like this, and that's the way we're going to roll. And I get why the Hardys are at the top of the card. Yeah. In 2020. Oh, I understand that, yeah. They are all the bang up. But there's there's still a name on your roster that you can yeah. do, you, you can make stories with. They are what bullies for impact. Yeah. Like, they don't need to be main inventors, but they need to pick up ways so they look good. From yeah, their, their, so they can make other people look good. You're right. Uh, and that post match was just pretty much challenging on Cole and JF. But the Kingdom would come into play with that, too, because Vincent used to be in the Kingdom, too. With the the, the yeah. Matt team during the Kingdom. Mm -hmm. But nah, I don't think it was Dutch. But no. If you're wondering who the big guy is that was with Vincent, that's the guy who said NXT's never made any stars. <laughs> never, made, never made any homegrown stars. So, yeah, that, that's that guy. Nobody. We don't want to trade the homegrown star on Jake Harko. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's not like people will know she was in AEW or anything. Uh, here's what's coming all coming shows, including the Raider Return of Rob Van Dam next week. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Um. And then main event, like, in my match of the night, Britt Baker did not defeat, I had to say that out loud for myself, Chris Satellite defeated Britt Baker in my match of the night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at that, a good Britt Baker match. It's not often that we get those. Um, but yeah, uh, Chris Statlander actually seems to be coming on as one of the workhorses in AEW. After, I hadn't seen the match, but from how people are talking about it, after having a good match with Jade the night before, and even the, and then including this one, uh, yeah, she's solidifying herself as a solid workhorse of that division. Let, let's hope that keeps they keep it up after she loses the TNT title, or literally actually make the her losing the I'm sorry the TBS title worth it. And let's see what she does after that. Because I don't necessarily have faith in Tony Khan to continue that story. Omar can build her bigger, but... I digress here. Going off on a tangent. The match itself, 
was actually really good. Uh, they kudos had from both. Kudos uh, to both women here. They had me with the ending. As I want that one, Chris losing the title. Britt PA. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Britt looks smoother out. Britt looks smoother out there this week. And will and will be nice to see her get back to how she was before. Chris piles up an all win, and this time's over an all established name. More nodes and a TBS title will be getting closer to the women's title level. I, honestly, Soraya has the women's title. Unless they do get Mercedes at this point, the TBS title mind will just be absurd. Yeah. The main women's title? <laughs> Unless Tony gets it back this week. Exactly. <laughs> but actually, that won't help Tony's character at all if she no. gets it back. Because no. she won't be like the distress that they are. Uh, and Tony's barrel without the title. Yes. But I really hate Soraya beating Tony. But AEW don't be confused. Like that. <laughs> uh, and then Chris helps her out afterwards as shown but Brooke was looking at the title though to end the show. Uh overall the show managed to get over the hump, I would say in the end. As it felt like of the wrestle show for the week of AEW. Uh that's how Collision was looking before the best with CM Punk. And it's good that they seem to be getting back on that path. But marriage is some consistency and this is what they'll be consistently doing. This show has a carriage of the future. Once again, it really sucks when this isn't looking. It really sucks for us when this doesn't look that well. Because this is another. Uh, I, I really didn't bang out nothing on anything other than my turn, but that was one of my questions. That's more like I have questions other than concerns. Right yeah. <laughs> away. Other than fly out heat itself. Okay. Uh, well, I do have my pick. I think there's a reason for almost any, any show this week. Mm -hmm. Being a show the week. Oh, for sure. I do think we're going to have different picks, though. But I... I do have mice. Okay. One. Two. Three. Impact. Impact. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, to me, they got their feet better show. Yeah. They only sort of assigned it, as mm -hmm. the kids say. <laughs> Impact got to celebrate themselves. Bring out <laughs> names from the past here. And I thought they knocked another part. Had McKee and buy a suit. That's important. Oh, I, I had to forget the other segment. Also, Kong, your guitar, <laughs> hardcore country. Yeah. Actually, she was singing. She was love singing, too. Yeah. I even like the nice touch with Raisha Saeed yeah, and coming in. Chili and Melissa playing her whole, playing on the whole accent. Yeah. And garb, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even going all the way that far. Yeah. Uh, and that, it also, pro and also had the best match of the week, too. Yeah. With other matches may not necessarily be great, but great matches, but still nostalgia no. act, and you got all of that here. That they top, did a very good job. That, that. top of the Tracy Brooks moment too for her whole fame speech because it was unexpected for her. Because I actually didn't know about her going to the whole fame. I didn't know about that. I either. did hear about the other people going to the whole fame that were announced. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure they John Weston. Today. Like today, I'm not today, sure yeah. they announced them yet. Did they not? No. I thought they announced them at uh, the Okay, never mind then. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they're, 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 I finished the first time Impact's doing two inductees for. Yeah. Uh, but my, my today just say he's going to be there for. So yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I would say Impact. Yeah, I think this is the tightest race for me we, since we had the six shows where, uh, where six could have been one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, this, this was a very good weekend in wrestling TV. If I had to pick a number two, I'd probably say with the bat NXT. Yeah. This week? I'll, I'll say if you're looking at matches, NXT might have been the best show. Yeah. But Impact had the moments, the moments and the celebration and the nostalgia. Yeah. I, I, I thought I'm saying NXT. Third, I'm saying... SmackDown Sma probably this week. Probably, yeah. Um... Yeah, but like, but like, roll by, roll by my collision could easily be where SmackDown was too. So not like, I thought this was the best SmackDown and Dynamite in weeks. Yeah, uh, for them. Uh, so uh, it seems like Collision's getting back on track after the Puff fiasco, and Roll's been proud of us besides Impact, <laughs> always being consistently five. <laughs> for the most part, yeah. Roll's trying the most consistent quality show weekly. If you want the quality wrestle like every match, mm -hmm. Roll's probably still that show. If you want the because Royal Pride has the best roster on the mom on the shows, but yeah, we're in tight week. I can't really rank them either. Just literally what I'm saying, six could have been one. Uh, yeah. This week. Six was one worthy, yes. Yeah. 
Well, the problem is, I think Impact actually just had more than enough to keep the top two this week. Yeah. But three to six, six has easily been number three this week, yeah. at least. Yeah. Uh, but not doing for this. We'll be back on Wednesday with our Survivor Series 2009 retro review. Uh, catch us on the 20 time podcast where Becky Lynch tries to defend her WWE grades from this wrestler crowd for her involved in As she tries to defend it against the 63 women from around the world in all wrestling organizations. Yes. Including her rival in the that she deservedly beat in the previous tournament, Charlotte Flair. Ah! Uh, I was always rooting for Becky to win that, by the way. Let's see how far the band this this time. Ah! Uh, that'll be uploaded not on my schedule, so just keep on checking that channel. It's over like two days, I guess. Yeah. So by next Tuesday. Uh, I would say. Yeah, it should be up at some point this week. Yeah, the only platform will be up sooner than the video. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we'll be back on, like I said, Wednesday with that, and then the following Monday. Follow Monday or Sunday, depending on my schedule. Uh, on, uh, for the weekly show review next week. See, see you then. See you then.